Hello everyone, it's Lewis here from Physics Online. I really hope all of you are doing okay at the moment. Don't forget you can subscribe to me on YouTube to stay updated with the latest videos. Now, in the video today, I thought I'd go through the top five things about my GCSE Physics website. Now, YouTube is brilliant, but there are some limitations, including finding exactly the videos that you need when you need them. You can organize stuff in playlists, but then a lot of these videos might not be relevant for the course that you're doing. And that's why I've developed this GCSE Physics Online website. Now, the first thing that you need to know about it, again, just go to GCSE Physics Online. So the first thing when you actually get to the website is you'll find that everything is ordered for exam board. So if you're not sure about which exam board you're studying, just ask your teachers. But basically I've covered the main ones in England, so AQA, Edexcel and OCR. OCR have a couple of different courses, A and B. So again, check with your teachers if you're not sure. I also cover it for those students in Northern Ireland and also Wales when I've got SEA and WJEC. And for the 40% of you watching this from outside the UK, because I think only about 60% of my students on YouTube come from the UK. Everybody else is all over the world. I've tried to cater for you with both Cambridge International and the Edexcel IGCSEs. So it's all out there. So when you select your exam board, uh, let's go for Edexcel maybe, um, what you'll find is a page that has links to the official stuff from their website. So you can find the latest specification, any other notes from the, from the website. And I've sorted it out by either combined or double and the actual separate physics. And underneath, uh, for each exam board, I've got everything organised with the topics that you will be studying. So let's maybe look at something to do with energy forces doing work. Okay, so what you'll find here is that you've got now videos, which are the ones that you need for your course. And if we go and maybe click on kinetic energy, when you click on that, it brings up the videos about kinetic energy that you need. So that is the first thing. I've organized all of the videos onto a page where they are exactly what you need. Now, the second thing about this on the website is when it comes to revision, the best way to get good at doing exam paper questions is to do exam papers. And if you go to whichever exam board you've, uh, you're actually doing, if you click on the past exam papers page, what you'll find is I've put everything from the current specification here in one place. So you don't have to go searching on different websites. You don't have to go searching on the actual exam board website. You can find everything here, including the sample papers. Also, for a lot of them, I have the old specification papers, which are often pre-2018. I've kind of got these highlighted in like a different gray behind. Now these ones here, they are still relevant for you. So if you're doing Edexcel and you want to look at lots and lots of example questions, these ones here, they're not quite the same as the new style exams, but I'd say probably 90 to 95% of these questions are just your standard physics questions that you can have a go at. So I've got all of the legacy papers here going back, in this case, back to 2011. So doing lots of past exam papers is gonna be really useful for you when it comes to preparing for your exams. The other thing on the website is um, what I've got in addition to the videos where I actually explain the physics, which is maybe really useful if it's the first time you've actually done that course, um, I've also got videos where I go through work solutions because, yeah, I can tell you about kinetic energy, but actually sometimes what you need to see is an example question and the way to approach it. So on the website itself, I guess the third thing I've got are these worked examples. Okay, so you can see the question, you can have a go at doing it, and then what you can then do is check your answer by playing this video. The other thing I've got on the website, which is my fourth thing, is there are so many questions that you can have a go at, and I've got three different levels of questioning. Okay, the first one is I've got these quick questions. Okay, so when, when it says quick questions, click on that, and it brings up this box here, and what you've got to do is select the incorrect statement. I did that for a very good reason because that means you're reading four correct statements. So it's reinforcing that correct knowledge. So identify the full statement. Kinetic energy is a half mass times velocity. Yeah, that's good. We've then got the equation. Energy is measured in joules. Oh, this one gets a little bit more tricky. This one here, one joule is one kilogram meter per second. That is incorrect. And when you hover over it, the incorrect statement 
the one which is not true disappears. The reason for that, why is one kilogram meter per second, why is that not the right answer? Well then if you just hover near the explanation, it then gives you the answer. So momentum is measured in kilogram meters per second and is not equal to the unit of joules. Okay, that's a bit tricky, but I want you to get better at doing physics. Click next, there's another question and so on. So there's quite a few questions that you can have a go at. There's over 500 quick questions on the website. So alongside these questions for my kind of fourth point is I've got worksheets and these are being added all the time. If you click on an icon that says worksheet, if you find that on the page, what you'll find is a worksheet that you can download or just for you on your phone. There's also a set of answers and video solutions to it as well. So look, here's a worksheet um, about kinetic energy. It starts off pretty standard, then a few more questions there. If you look, click on the worksheet answers, I've then got my work solution, doing it properly, put, writing down the equation, showing you're working out, and then giving the answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. And if you still are unsure about how to actually approach a question like that, what I have is a video where I actually go through how I'd actually work out these answers myself. So what I have here is a whole set of stuff I don't think any other website has got. So that's my fourth point. I've got lots and lots of questions for you to have a go at. Number five, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is even more questions, okay? These ones are from Isaac Physics. It's another project run by the University of Cambridge. But if you click on Isaac Physics, what it takes you is to an external website. And on this website, there are more questions I've selected for you to have a go at. So you can have a go at doing all of these yourself. It's self-marked. There's no answers provided, but I've chosen what I think are the appropriate questions for you to have a go at. Now, I'm just gonna say something. If you watch all my videos, have a go at all my questions, do all my worksheets, have a go at the eyes at physics, you will get a grade nine for GCSE physics. I can guarantee it, pretty much. If you do the work by watching the videos, by doing all the questions I've put there, you will have a really, really good understanding of physics alongside all the stuff you're doing at school as well. And if you want to access the whole thing, um, often you can get it for free if your school subscribes. So ask your teachers to get a school subscription. It's about 50p per student if the school does that. Or if you want to buy an individual subscription to access everything on the website, um, it's less than £10 for three years access. So that was GCSE Physics Online and I'm still working on it. It's going to get better and better and better over the years. I'm going to be adding a lot more practical videos and also videos to support other examples where I haven't got the video there at the moment. At the moment though, there are about 350 videos. And if you want to find that list, just have a look at the full video list at the bottom of the page. And this is every video that I've made so far. Um, and there will be a lot more being added. So there we go, um, gcsephysicsonline.com. And obviously if you want to subscribe to all the free content, make sure you do that on YouTube. Thank you.